the Heritage Foundation and their symposium just uh, disclosed some things that had me thinking and it, that had me thinking more and then of course I started drinking my four shots with a little bit of half and half but key, key my friends is the dark caramel none of this this weak light caramel with sugar syrup and artificial flavor no, no no sir I want the real dark caramel so um, this is, and it's very, very thick, and uh, so it, it's like sipping it over time. Oh well, this is wholesome as all heck. They got the the baseball team's pictures up on the cage, and that's really, that's pretty nice, you know. I mean, if you're gonna play baseball, you know, and, and you know, might as well have your team celebrated openly. You know, that's that's fun, that's cool. Anyway. It's actually delightfully wholesome. <laughs> and so, um, why video games? This is going to get worse. Video games are going to get worse. This is even going to get funnier. Check this out. Video games are going to have to return to physical format. Oh my God. I can't believe this is the, now my mind. Okay, so there is uh, we the the House Republicans in not saying to people eat shit and die, go fuck yourself. They they just can't say these words. They're too, you see, that's too impolite, and you have to make uh, you know deals, and you have to you young people, you don't understand how this works. You see, <laughs> and um, so. And what they're doing is uh, they're still funding that same uh, group within the DHS that gives out grant money for anti-hate stuff. Okay, so here's the the way that this guy kind of broke this down. I'm for it was in CISA. Um, that was another one of these things that got funded again. The idea is so. What well, what ended up happening is. The, the House Republicans end up uh, being able to either choke off funding for these people who censor things that are, are digital and uh, media project, products or censoring various outlets for what they say is disinformation. This is all part of some large program across the Eurosphere. Um, any place that speaks European languages, you have, your, you have some group of people sensitivity reading um, information, and so fundamentally trying to get it so that people won't be able to advertise on something like Zero Hedge, or that they'll be getting watched. If you buy, you know, that's already been, happened. They watch uh, and put you on a list. If you buy a variety of items, the, the, uh, the, the, the GOP can be credited for finding out that there is this whole part of the government that is watching mostly people who are right of center um, and libertarians. They especially, I've noticed sources that are libertarian are really being focused on by the government. And that, that's just something for the libertarians to really consider. It's, uh, but so they, they, and, and so what you guys buy, you, you, they, they're stacking up information, somebody's stacking up information on you. And it's supposedly, these various people hired for anti-hate, anti-extremism, domestic terrorism concerns, you know, and that kind of stuff. They're keeping everybody safe. And it's because they're inherently smart. They're inherently better people. They're inherently honest. No, because they're democratic activists. They're, they're a Marxist leaning democratic activists. And it's because so much of the GOP can't really deal with the ramifications of, no, the, the, there's, the, again, we have this problem and we need not just a McCarthy, we, we need a McCarthy and, and a small army of, uh, and a small phalanx of people to just finally deal with this issue. Um, 
and but key to this is well no if if it, it and apparently it was funny because apparently my orcas actually even tweeted well you you funded it and so that's what it comes down to the video games will keep getting censored now because we funded it and that's it that's where the women get their jobs from that's what you know um and so a lot of people have to start getting this idea that uh you know it's now it's no you're it's the libertarians nailed it the libertarians have been proven completely correct about the 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 way that we think about government no you you have to make these people in government you have to see them set out you have to be able to fire them you have to be able to fire them en masse it, and then it's, oh but what's going to happen when the, then the, when power changes and everyone's just going to fire everyone good that's how it's going to have to good all right looks like the various states are going to have to come up with ways of dealing with one another in case the federal government can't get its shit together how about that oh you guys don't like that oh no 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 but that would be chaos and who knows what kind of they would they would make the black people into slaves again you know it's like you know which is always the go-to or oh they'll they'll take the women's rights away you know oh my gosh can you believe what people might do they might do something from a period of time that they have no memory of whatsoever for no reason you know just just out of panic because that's what people do and mass you know all of these all of these people concerned about disinformation and 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 white terrorism but what one of these days these white people are gonna start shooting people and you know and or something whatever whatever the 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 bullshit is whatever the rigmarole and bullshit will be but so oh so okay so what so what do you you know well what's what's your well you keep me from you hire me and I'll just watch these people <coughs> I love to think of then what you know uh, of course because these are people so, oh yeah so in uh, Ireland apparently there was some kind of um, free speech or you know Ireland for the Irish kind of thing going on and a bunch of Antifa idiots show up and at some point when they get rushed off by the lads what ends up happening is one of them drops their unlocked phone and they find out that this was like some kind of professionally uh, trained activist in league with uh, a journalist who was there reporting on the scene and that the law enforcement was somehow involved, and that there was a whole slew of these nonprofit corporations that were involved in it, like a big, like a super gay op. So now, in Ireland, is proven out at least one of these that, yeah, because it's really weird how nobody catches Antifa until years later after the person has committed many felonies um and usually they get worse and worse and worse that's another thing i don't really get about like how the left must feel about this that like when you finally when these people finally go to jail it's usually after they've committed multiple assaults or uh they they've they're uh what was it they destroyed property um you know, in some way, shape, or form, menaced people, you know, or something. Um, and all kinds of, all kinds of business that's bad. And it's just, I don't know. I just think it's fascinating how the left doesn't really have a problem with the fact that the, the exemplars of their movement are these people who keep dodging the law magically until they finally have to go to jail for practically being, being a super villain. And, and menacing normal people and just, and being horrible. Um, so now you have fundamentally like a 
it's like a real job now that these people can be like, oh yeah, you know, I'm, I'm looking out for people and their, um, you know, and, and people trying to like take their rights with words, you know, <laughs> people. And, and so this is the beauty of it now is, uh, the left, ah, the left now has to admit, no, no, we, we sneak, we, we have to always sneak. If we don't sneak, we, we can't do it. If we don't force you, you, it, it won't, you would never like what we want. Everything now is saying this. To the point that it's, no, we actually just want to kind of ruin things. But you have to pretend it's really good. <laughs> and now that that's the beauty of it is... Um, what if Alt Hist actually has um, did a really good one recently with the incel revolution? And there's enough patterns that are historic that it's like, well, he's, he's nailing how these patterns show a, a, a collapse that, um, well, conditions that are remarkably similar to the structure of the 30 years war. And so I'm, I, you know, so there's that part that I'm like, okay, no, he's got that. He's got what he's describing as far as those, the, the, those patterns are solid. What's very interesting is over the last, you know, anybody who's been watching this over about the last 72 hours, 96 hours, gold has shot up and now silver is shooting up silver if i remember is starting to very get very close to 30 or climbing over 30 dollars per ounce and this is the rate at which this is happening is the part that uh is very concerning because the the shoot up in gold since the beginning of the year has been like, I think it's something like about two to four hundred dollars per ounce, possibly in 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 just this part of the year, like just the beginning of this year. Gold moving that quickly uh, is I, I've I've never I didn't I've never seen that like or but I mean I've only been tracking now you know for a little while you know and so but. Uh, silver moving at the as well and then i looked and it looked like pla uh, platinum is moving finally as well uh, approaching 1000 so what if all his pointing out you now solidly have the setup that we saw for an entire 20 years in other parts of the world the men really don't have that much uh, at, at all <laughs> like the young men have everything to gain but very little to lose and the the currency is starting to become worth very little in gold and now it's the interesting aspect of you have an entire portion of the society as a part of the official spy apparatus of the society, because they can't actually win if they have if accurate data is available to people. So that's the other one. Are these people who are going to be saying that there's stuff that is disinformation and misinformation, putting the Wikipedia link, or maybe even in the EU, being able to take down the, the media altogether? that's going to become more often. That's going to happen more and more often. There's probably going to be video games returning to uh, physical format because you're actually going to have the issue of uh, it not being allowed in, in, your part of the in your part of the world. You know, that the, the, the jiggle physics are, are too jiggly. <coughs> And that's why 
Also, it's looking like the future is going to be PC Master Race. That the uh, games that are going to be on these various um, uh, company-produced platforms, that those types of games are just going to be, you know, like, they're going to be fun. They will probably be well done and very fun, but they will just slowly revert to something that's definitely for rather young uh, young people, you know, and, and that you won't have the epic... Oh, let's take the long way, because this sucks. <laughs> won't have the epic um, uh, giant story arc kind of game anymore. That won't really happen. Um, I always love, you see, one of the things that I've started to also see about the world is how, oh shit, there is this one issue about design that I've been thinking about. This idea that you have everybody dropping off this tremendous amount of people in one spot, this is so antiquated. And it's just kind of funny now to see this whole thing of, you know, people working from home and uh, the administration is now trying to do something about people homeschooling because, you see, their kids might learn disinformation. And let's see, how do you get out of here without cars hitting you? <laughs> um, okay this is this is just so insane how many vehicles are in this area I have no idea how the fuck to get out of here <laughs> it's like everywhere I fucking look there's like cars speeding around this fucking sucks <laughs> okay And this incredibly antiquated way of doing this, that, I mean, now there, there's not even really the idea of uh, a community that the young will uh, get themselves to school. I, I remember that, like, this very idea, like, that was the whole point, is that you have the, the schools located very, very nearby. That was the entire reason. Then it's, oh, we need to build more schools. Why do you need to build more of them? Oh, because, is it because you actually have them like, like strip malls that it's this hub of, of uh, traffic activity? You know, could it be that maybe people think that what, you know, the high, that public schools are so awesome because, you know, you have this, this like tremendous amount of resource just blobbed. More and more I'm starting to get that idea. Bad design and a lot of just like society is not working terribly well but a big part of this comes from sort of this various ideas like the glorious uh the the glorious government blob that you need a big building the biggest largest building possible like even trump has brought this up that i think a lot of us think is kind of cringe and it's this idea of like oh the goddamn uh, giant, biggest, most amazing, and Naom just had to do this. Naom just had to say, oh, we're not going to be building that giant, crazy building, you know, a, a building city thing. We're not going to be making that. Uh, we're we're going to be scaling back this design, is what they were saying. It's only going to be like 300,000 people at the most. It's going to be, you know, they, they've, they've, you know, they're, yeah. And uh, so, nobody's positing this idea. What if we were to spread out? What if we were to get the fuck away from each other and not bother each other? Nobody's positing this idea. Nobody's saying this openly. Like, there needs to be a politician who's like, do you know how much space there is in the United States? Imagine if the Democrats would just get the hell away from us. And make jokes like that, openly. Imagine if they would just leave us alone and get away from us instead of living off of us. Like, and talk about them like that. You know, that they're, that they're kind of parasitical, you know, and that they're proving, like, no, no, we believe in, in parasitism. We should be paid to look at websites and then say, no, I do not like this. <laughs> and so I've been just thinking about that, like... Yeah, it, um, 
I, I just, it, it's, this is pretty, all histories call. I unfortunately think that's just altogether far too possible. It's far too plausible. It makes too much sense. There's too many trends showing that the, the powerful really want disaster, chaos, and warfare. They've got to, they, they've got to test these new methods of war. And, uh, yeah. I, I, I really think it's, this, is, this is the attempt at the total gankening of, of America. And I think a big part of it is that, I mean, no, no, the boomers really... There's a, a, a part of the boomers that are that selfish and kind of like, they, they, can't, they can't really understand how they're wrong. You know, they, like they're Bill Maher. They, I, like, I think Bill Maher really, we're going to really look back and be like, no, seriously, this is like, in every boomer, there's a Bill Maher. You know, <laughs> that's just a cynical pothead, you know, that, uh, that, that has nothing sacred and nothing's true. There's, there's definitely beautiful chicks and probably they, they, they probably would like Donald better than, than me, little, little Bill, (laughs) little Bill. Um, but anyway, I kind of, I have the distinct feeling that that's like a big part of why certain people of the boomers don't like, uh, you know, have a problem with fucking Donald is, uh, because, um, they were like, dude, wh- why does he always have beautiful women around him all the time? Like, w- t- truly on seethe mode. I think that it's like for real mega seethe action. Um, yeah. I, <coughs> unstoppable seethism. Yeah. So there we go. Talk to you guys later.